so we've drawn of course we have um, I'm not surprised but I'm still a little bit annoyed because we had the game in our hands and we just I, I wouldn't say threw it away but we should have won the game I think based on how it went I did predict draw to be fair because Palace is a tricky away game they do well against big teams they usually get at least like one or two wins every season against a big six side so to speak so I knew they'd be tough away from home and I picked it a draw and that's what happened but the, considering how the first half went we were doing well um, we dominated got the first goal we should have closed the game out I think where it started to go wrong was half time because Torreira went off probably because of injury hopefully he's not too serious but Torreira um, our best midfield Torreira and Xhaka that's what works the best out of anything regardless of what you think about Xhaka him and Torreira together works that's what works the best more than anything with our midfield so when Torreira went off that's a big that's a big miss because Xhaka and Guendouzi together that doesn't work it just it doesn't work so obviously it's a big blow losing him at half time there's not an excuse but like it is a big blow um, it kind of shows our depth to be fair with our depth is just not good enough especially in midfield um, but yeah, then they equalised for, for a deflection, which was really annoying. Then Orba got sent off. It was a red, to be honest. Um, I'd like to say it wasn't, but if you look at the follow-through, it's it's a red. Um, I, I got no complaints. What's annoying is, though, that's three matches banned for Bamiyang. Three match ban. That's, that's Sheffield United at home next week, Chelsea away, then Bournemouth away in the Cup, fourth round. That's really not good, because... He's our main goal scoring threat. Lacazette is not on form at all. At times he's played well, but he's not scoring. He's not really doing well enough. And we almost won the game as well. That's what makes it even more annoying. Uh, Pepe had a chance, he hit the post. Lacazette missed the follow up. To be fair, it was a good save the second time. And I'm pretty sure the first one was saved as well, but that was so close. We're down to 10 men, seven minutes to go. We had opportunity there to just steal the game from them. And he hits the post, damn it. Pepe is improving though, he's definitely more consistent now I think, so hopefully that helps us going forward. But no Bamiyang for the next three games is a big blow. He's a, he's the joint second top scorer in the Premier League this season. That kind of shows how important he is, because he's one of the league's top scorers despite playing in such a bad team this season. Um, so missing him for three games is going to be very frustrating for us. Hopefully Lacazette steps up, because he needs to step up right now. He needs to. I know the confidence is low, but he needs to step up, or he might be a bit screwed. Anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts basically on the game. Um, not happy to draw. I'm not happy to draw. Um, but I'll take it over a loss, I guess. It could have been worse. Um, but yeah, we really should have won the game. But that's, that's all i got to say, really. Bring on next week. I'm going to the game against Sheffield United. So expect a vlog. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down on these nights lately. Never